We're dining in space. Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you're watching the Theme Park Foodies. And we, after two years of Space 220 being open- Almost have finally, two years. Almost two years, September will be two years. Almost two years since it's been open, have finally secured a reservation to the hardest dining reservation to get, I feel like in Disney World, because we've eaten pretty much- Besides Topolino's breakfast. Yeah, but we haven't gotten we that. we still haven't gotten. And Topolino's and this, I think are the two hardest to get. We finally got it, the restaurant is Space 220. The theme, a space station based restaurant with an elevator that goes 220 miles above Florida, the Earth. It's actually a Stellavator. 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 Oh, you're almost on a ride. Yeah. The elevator takes you up 220 miles. You'll be able to see all of Florida to get up there. The restaurant itself is located in uh, World Discovery. Uh, they've broken up Epcot a little differently since its refurbishment. It's very long, like five refurbishment at this point. Uh, so right now we're in World Celebration, which is where Spaceship Earth, uh, or the big golf ball as people call it is. Uh, this is in World Discovery, which is kind of almost a space or a futuristic type of themed area. There's also World Nature, which is where you could find like Soren, living with the land, all that stuff. This is kind of tucked in the back of World Discovery, right past Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited yeah, to so dine here. They are open for lunch and dinner. Uh, lunch is a two course prefix meal and dinner is a three course. Prefix meal, seventy-nine dollars for dinner, so it is pricey. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there is a lounge where you can do like small bites, and there is sometimes walk-up availability. But like for filming purposes, like we have to know we have a reservation. Like we're very, well, like, we have tried to do a lounge once, and it was like a three-hour wait. We yeah. just feel like it's we, we don't want to suck our day up. But yeah, no, because we were staying at the cabins here for my birthday in a previous video, uh, we were able to get this sixty days in advance. Yeah, and it popped right up. And so it's I'm excited. Crazy because we, we woke up in a log cabin, and now we're blasting off to space. Like that's what I love about <laughs> Disney because you're just all these different themed areas. Yeah, different so. aesthetics, different environments we can experience. I'm, I'm ready, are you? I hope space is cold. <laughs> yeah, it's right pretty now, hot out today. I'm about to like burst into flames. <laughs> yeah. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner at Space 220. All right, so first we have to get to World Discovery. And in order to get to World Discovery, we have to bear left at Spaceship Earth if you're entering Epcot from the front. All right, so right in between creations and connections, there's this overhang we have to cut through here because as you can see right there, there's Mission Space. Right in the back, straight ahead, a connected to Mission Space is gonna be Space 220. All right, so we're passing Guardians now. And then you can see right back there, that's Mission Space. All right, so if we go left right now, we'd be going on Mission Space, but we are going to go right. And you can see there's the sign right there. Space 220. All right, there it is, the reservation that's eluded us for so long. Well, they actually have a menu up right here in the front. So you get a two course for lunch, but we're here for dinner, as Sam said earlier. So we're getting the three courses. Looks really good. Look at that slow rotation zero G short rib. I feel like the tomahawk is new. Yeah, the tomahawk, I think it is. I think it is new. Oh, it's concluded too. It's not an upcharge, it looks like. The, the ribeye is an upcharge. Yeah. Looks like they have like quotes from astronauts as you walk in among the walls here. This is a Japanese astronaut, astronaut right here. I feel and hope that many more people from around the world will be able to participate in space. That's what we're doing right now, kind of. Maybe they're not all astronauts because this one's from Stephen Hawking who I don't think went to space. All right, we're heading down the hallway now, Sam. The famous space elevator. Stellavator. Stellavator. All right. Oh, this is cool. I guess that's the elevator right there. All right, so I guess this is the space station we'll be dining in. Right now we're online. Go to space. Centauri Space Station. All right, so this is a look at the elevator. It looks like if you look at the very top right there, you can actually see it go from the spaceport straight back down to Earth. Very futuristic looking. Do you need this passport to take you up in the elevator? I wonder what, oh, I guess that means two allowed. All right, we're heading in. All 
All right, so this is. Lift this off. Space station. Enter the ride. Initiating in three, two, one. Lift off. You're riding aboard the Mark V Stellarator, the latest in space elevator design and technology. Today, you'll have a spectacular view of Florida information. Well, you can feel it. I feel like it's shaking as you go up. See all of Disney World. Pretty soon all of Florida. SV-1, we are on our final approach. Roger that. If you look above, you'll see some Tari space station coming into view. Once we dock, gather your belongings and exit through the open airlock. SV-1, clear for arrival. Alright, we made it. Through that elevator. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, right here is the vegetation. Yeah, so this is like space living with the land. This yes. Is the astronauts crop. And do you know why they have to rotate it? No. Because they're mimicking gravity. So that the momentum mimic, mimics the force of gravity, so that way the seeds would be able to grow in space. Kind of takes off your equilibrium too. Space Station. Right, we're in. miles above Epcot. That's where we get our name from, Space 220. I see friends from your table. You're gonna have a really nice view to Earth and space. Ah, it looks beautiful. Let you know, friends, restrooms will be right here, right next to the bar. Oh, we got a nice big table too. Wow, look at that. Perfect view. All right, so Sam is seated with a beautiful view of herself and space behind her. Every now and then you'll be able to see like an astronaut, a spaceship, even a space dog, I think. You want to let me know when you see the space dog since I can't see. <laughs> we'll flash around. They also started us off with space water. It was in a cool container. And um, I think these are just normal utensils. Are they space utensils? Oh, they're, space. they're like shiny black metallic and they're like a little thinner than your standard silverware. Oh look, you can see, I think it's one of the spaceships docking. Oh, two spaceships up there right now. All right, so we got the Moon Rocks, which is probably their, their most picturesque drink. It has pop rocks, well, you put your pop rocks in it. At the bottom, that's cotton candy, and at the top, I believe that's lemonade, right, Sam? Um, it's lemon juice, Sprite, and pineapple juice. Lemon juice, Sprite, and pineapple juice. And they say you gotta mix it first, uh, because the bottom is just cotton candy. They say till it's green, because yellow and blue make green so all right oh no okay uh, that looks that looks like bluish green right yeah. i'm already sold on this place just for the atmosphere i didn't think i was going to be as big of a fan as i was um all right so i gotta open this up they say do not pour all the pop rocks in it at once they said do very slowly because they will start flying exploding around. all over the <laughs> table and stuff so i'm just gonna Open this up and just pour a little bit in, and then maybe we'll kind of take a look and just see them explode. Ooh. Are they popping? Mix them in. There you can see them. Definitely adding to it. All right, let's pour a little bit more in now. Look at that. Right, let's try this out. I imagine this is going to be insanely sweet. Probably great for kids. I feel like it's going to be sweet and sour because you're going to have that um, lemon juice. Oh, it's also some pop rocks. And then the cotton candy syrup is going to be sweet. Oh, wow. The inside of my mouth is like clicking. Yeah, that's, that's pop rocks. <laughs> I, have, I have never had pop rocks in my life. What? My dad wouldn't let me have them when I was a kid. He's watching. I wish that there was a camera view of my face right now because I <laughs> I really never knew that you've never had pop rocks before. This is your first. This is a very special experience. <laughs> Thirty three years old, first time having pop rocks. Um. Wow, my mouth is so weird. I'm you, just taken back by that. I get. I'm getting more of the tropical pineapple flavors. Really? With the cotton candy. Um, it's not as fizzy as I'd expect it to be, uh, and it's 
definitely super sweet. For me, I'm gonna break this off the whole experience, not just taste. For the whole experience of the drink, I'm gonna give it a seven. Because I like that, like, you gotta mix it a few times, or playing, like, experiment at the table. I and mean, the taste ain't bad. Flavor, I cannot like, believe you've never had six. Pop Rocks before. Yeah, right? Try some on its own. There's still some left in the packet. Just have the Pop Rocks on its own. Have you ever had Fun Dip? Yeah. Okay. You've had Fun Dip, but not Pop Rocks. I snuck that. Oh, contraband. Yeah. My dad wouldn't let me have, like, pure sugar. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, it's funky. Wow. Space. That does feel spacey to me. <laughs> pour them all in. All right, so Sam is starting off with the cauliflower. Cauliflower. Ooh, cauliflower for her Which first course. Is tempura fried cauliflower, house-made hot sauce, blue cheese dust, and it looks like those little celery shavings. I really like the presentation. I really like the name. I think it's... I'm assuming is it, this is a, um, a vegetarian option, right? Are you going to start with the bottom or the top? Looks like they have the hot sauce on the bottom. Back end. Ooh, that's a lot of hot. I think you can. It is a little spicy, but I think I can handle it. <laughs> Is the cauliflower like well cooked? It's not mushy. The cauliflower. And just looks like a nice little crisp. Oh, I just knocked over my whole tower. Yeah, well, you gotta make a mess. It has a nice light crispy coat. And it's still um, crunchy inside. It's not soggy. The house made um, hot sauce is, is really good too. I don't really taste the blue cheese, the dust that's on there that much. I would like a little more of that. Too. I feel like it's concentrated towards the top. Yeah, I, yeah, maybe let me just, for me, I like having the blue cheese to kind of cool it down since I'm not really too good with spice. So I would like more of that, but that's just like a me thing. I really like it. A lot. Mm. I would give this an eight. Nice, yeah. That's great. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't expecting high quality food. Presentation and like, I think the quality was on point. Starry calamari. I feel like this. They opened with this, right, Sam? Yes. This has been on the menu since day one. So I want to. They have two different sauces. They have a spicy marinara, and this is a um, red pepper aioli. Aioli. Yeah, I think, I think so. Um, let me just try this. The calamari. The roasted first. red pepper. Um, okay. Citrus aioli. Oh wow. So, being from New York, frequenting Italian restaurants, I like crispiness in my calamari. I'm gonna put a little lemon on top. While the fish does taste quality, and it is have like a buttery flavor to it, it's not crispy enough for my taste. But I'm gonna try out this marinara. It's a spicy marinara. Alright, right, so let's try this aioli. The aioli is a star. It's quality fish with a good buttery coating. The aioli to me is the best dip. I wish I had that aioli, aioli with all my calamari, which is what's elevating it to me. Elevate in space, get it? Anyway, it's just, I've, I've, Sam, we've been to New York, we've had such amazing, yeah. well, as you have, because you don't like eat seafood, but such amazing calamari in New York. It's hard for me to go anywhere. Sorry, there. space. You're not. You're not gonna beat New York. <laughs> They're a good space bomb, all right. I think it's good though. I like the dip. I like the buttery taste. I give it a seven. Like I'm not disappointed. I just don't think it's like exceptional. A lot of people ever get blown away by this dish. For me, it's just like kind of an elevated middle of the road. What brings it up to that seven point is the buttery flavoring and that aioli. That's really the star. All right, dinner is served. I got the short rib because I feel like you're pretty safe with short rib at Disney. Disney knows how to do short rib. And apparently they're known for it here. It's never left the menu. Sam also got the eight ounce filet mignon. Is this oak fire roasted? It's certified Angus beef, creamy mashed potatoes, and a red wine reduction. I feel like when I get prefix meals, I try to go for the pricier item to get my money's worth. 
Yeah, yeah I agree with that 100%. There is a chicken on the menu, and I'm like, oh, I'm not eating chicken for $79. I was leaning towards that tomahawk porterhouse, but... Pork chop. Pork chop. Sorry, tomahawk pork chop. Oh, it looks, you asked for medium rare. That looks medium rare to me. It's really good. It's part one. All right. Perfect bite. Got a little mashed potato on there. A little reduction. It cut perfectly, it looked like. It looked very tender. That's really good. Oh, that's good. I wasn't sure how, like, space steak would taste. <laughs> like, we've we eaten at, you know, like the top steak houses here on property. And I feel like this is up there with the best of them. Maybe it's the way they butcher the steer here at zero G gravity, you know? I don't want to think about that, but <laughs> it's super, super tender. Um, it's perfectly cooked. I really would like a little nibble if that's alright with you. I'm sure that you're gonna have some. <laughs> The red wine reduction is really good. There's a little sweetness. It's incredibly tender and delicious. And I'm very happy I got this. What do you give it? One out of ten? You never rated it. I'm gonna give it a nine. That's great. Yeah, that goes to the top top stakes in Disney for sure. All right, so this is the short rib. Uh, I feel like the true measure of a short rib is seeing how it peels without a knife. So let's see how tender it is. All right, broke off pretty easily. Still a little big for my uh, for a bite for me. Looks a little dry on the outside. I'll go interior though to give it the full, you know, benefit of the doubt. This also has some mashed potatoes on the bottom here. Does it have a demi glaze as well? I wonder. And it cooks for, I think, 16 hours? Mm -hmm. Oh, so there's bacon on this. Oh. And those are cheddar grits at the bottom. Oh, wow. Not mashed potatoes. That's a very J dish. Yeah. I like the bacon. I think that it may be cooked for a little too long. Maybe you may take it out of 15 hours? Right here. They're like bacon bits. The best part is the cheddar grits. Really? And the vegetables. But the best, the best shortbread I ever had, one of the best meals I ever had, Jico. Yes. I'm inevitably going to compare it to Jico's shortbread. You know, you, you have to compete with Jico, and you can't. You know, it's, it's hard to. If this is unique, it's good. It's dry though. It's dry. I like it. I'm gonna eat all of it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I don't think it's bad. It's just, you know, I've eaten a lot of places in Disney. I'm never even gonna compare them. So I'm gonna give this a six. Um, I like the cheddar grits. I like the bacon bits. I like that it's unique. Uh, but the short rib itself is dry, and you can't have a dry short rib. You know, 16 hours slow roasted sounds really good. You can cook it off by holding in that moisture. Great. If something happened in the process of this short rib, at least, where it dried out. Uh, although, like we say, Sam, the only thing consistent about Disney is its inconsistency. You can come here and get a very um, robust and moist short rib, and if you get one of those, I could see this easily going to like an eight category with everything that's around it. But for me, with what I was provided, it's going to be a six. But I'm going to eat all of it. I'm going I'm to like floating. I'm not sure if they're working on that, that space guy. I guess he's working on that satellite. They got me a candle. Cause it's it's my birthday. You guys enjoy, okay? Thank you very much. Of course. Happy birthday again, okay? Appreciate it. Como arigato, space twenty. Happy birthday to me. All right, we got dessert. I got the carrot cake. I was thinking about getting the chocolate raspberry cake. They suggested this. They said it's what they're known for. And um, Sam got the chocolate cheesecake. Like whipped chocolate ganache, chocolate sauce, white chocolate crunchy pearl cookie crumbs, and dark chocolate shards. I have a little shard? That's a, you got a lot of shard on that. A lot of shard. You're welcome to have the shard. Thanks. Presentation's definitely on point. Let's see how it peels. This looks good. It's so, so smooth and creamy. It's very light. Very airy. Mm. 
good cheesecake. It looks really good. Does it have like, is it like more of a dark chocolate or? No, is that a dark chocolate? I guess the shards are dark chocolate. It's more like a milk, but it doesn't have like a um, graham cracker bottom. You know, like how cheesecake usually has like a crust. Like a crust, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have, I don't, it doesn't have a crust. It tastes like more like moussey to me than cheesecake. I'm a big fan of mousse, so. It's very good. You said it doesn't have like a bitterness, right? It's more of a milky type yeah. of flavor. I really like it. But I have had some like really bomb desserts though at Disney, so I'm gonna give this a seven. It sounds yeah, it sounds like a seven. I still want to bite though. Like Congratulations it. on your graduation. Congratulations on turning 33. I didn't know we were letting my age out to the internet. I guess it's on Facebook. All right, oh, that's dark chocolate. That's good. Yeah, so you have some candied uh, walnuts and toasted pepitas. I thought these were like pumpkin seeds. Nice texture. A little crunchiness, but they crunch down pretty easy. Let's take a look at how it feels. And a little bit of that, whatever that is on it. The more goo, the better, I always say. <laughs> is that what you say? It's your signature line? I don't just say it, I always say it. <laughs> that actually is really good. That looks, that looks... It's so, like, the texture is so interesting. That looks the best looking carrot cake I've seen. Like, I like their take on it, and I like the layers to it. Do you know carrot cake is usually, like, grainy almost when you have yes. it? It's not that here. It tastes like almost your traditional cake, but, like, a little bit more dense and it kind of just melts in your mouth with all the different flavors that are on it. It's vegan. Have... Oh, it's vegan too. Vicky, Nick, other vegans, Mitch, Devin. I think, I actually, like I'm thinking back because they did their video a long time ago. I'm pretty sure Devin liked that. Oh, okay. Cake. Yeah, we, we haven't seen, that they came I think months and months ago. Probably. No, over a year. Over a year. Tim yeah. and Katie and yeah. Mitch and Devin won. They both had videos on it. <laughs> I like the thought. I'm gonna go eight. I, I love the texture of it. I love the flavor profile. It's not too sweet. This is this is the best thing I've eaten. Today. But actually, this and the steak. Well, I had some steak off camera. Maybe I'm just gonna try a little Sims. What do you think? Wow. It's good. It's like a moussey, like chocolate. Yeah. I think if a chocolate bar was like into a mousse, it's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go eight with both of them. They're really good. Guys, you and like cannonballs back and forth. Oh, he's flying back up now. We've yet to see Space Dog. This guy looks like, he's, looks like he's having fun. All right, Space, it's been real. Let's go back down in the space elevator. If you are able to snag a spot at the lounge, this is where you'd be seated. Looks nice too, nice blue light. This looks like another port, so I guess you'll be walking into a separate section. Oh, these are all different wines in here. So I guess if you order a wine, they have to open these up and pop them out. I feel like they use this spot to almost throw you off your equilibrium before you go, because I've been getting very dizzy just looking at it. I was enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have to get on at least one of these two Space okay, elevators. To Earth to this one's on Earth. This one looks like it's in the middle, so let's see which one we get on first. All right, the airlock's open. All right, we're heading back to Earth. Standing by for final instructions and clearance. Looks like everything is sealed. Oh, come back down. Watch your younger travelers. 
Thanks. So that is it for our time dining at Space 220 for the very first time for my birthday. Sam, your thoughts? <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked my appetizer, entree, and dessert. I thought they were all very good. I thought the elevator was awesome. Our server was amazing. Um, when the bill came, though, I didn't feel like it was worth it. It yeah. has that California Grill price tag but i just don't think it lives up to that price i agree um yeah i think that so i'm not sure if this is going to be a controversial take um i think the the atmosphere is the highlight here um i think it's it's worth experiencing at least once i think because of the price and because of the limited space it, I, even though it kind of look vast on camera it isn't that big of a yeah. space it doesn't accommodate a huge amount of guests. And because of that, I feel like it needs to have a higher price tag so they feel like they have to have this very um, kind of fancy food. But I don't think it should be. I feel like maybe, not burgers and fries, not like connections, but I feel like it should almost be like a fast, casual type of experience. Maybe more, more reminiscent, reminiscent of maybe a uh, um, Be Our Guest restaurant. Yeah. And I also like the space window. like. Not that much is going on out there. Like, yeah, it was often, kind of like the same things over and over, and I never saw the space dog. Yeah, and you could see if they like floated off into like a corner, you would expect them to come in the next window. That doesn't happen, uh, so it does kind of ruin the immersion or the immersive factor of it. I would like to come and try the lounge bites. I would like to go off the prefix menu. I don't think the prefix price is worth it, but that doesn't mean that I thought my food was very good. I, your rib. No. My herbs are dry. My steak was very good though, but I still, like when that bill came, I was just like, eh. We thought we were getting the pass holder discount, but that's only available for lunch because this is run by a third party. Yes. Uh, but they do take DVC uh, member discount at night, but we are not DVC members. So if we would have had the discount, I might have felt differently, but because we didn't, I was just like, I just, it's just not, it's not cutting it. Yeah, I uh, reflect that same sentiment that you have. Um, I do really enjoy the experience. You could have given me a hamburger from Connections and I would have been happy. Um, I think that the experience is one of a kind. Not for $79. Yeah, you would have been I think the total happy. together was 180 like 180 because we got one yeah. um, drink that was an upcharge. Yeah. Uh, but I just, for me... I think that, yeah, I don't think the price is worth it. And also, not the best food in Epcot, without a doubt. Not even top three, I would think. Um, I, I think that the best food in Epcot, without a doubt, is La Cellier in the Canada Pavilion. Although the atmosphere, again, is the highlight here worth doing, yes. But if you're looking for the best food in Epcot, it's not here. Uh, this is probably some of the best atmosphere in Epcot, but not but some of the best food. Best space food, maybe. Yeah. Favorite thing you ate? Hmm, my steak. It definitely had to be my steak. For me, it's the, um, it was the uh, carrot cake. And the carrot cake. Yeah, the carrot cake was very good. Yeah. It was almost like the waitress said, it's almost more like kind of like a pumpkin carrot cake, like hybrid. Yeah. It was very moist and like dense. Yeah. Also, some of the best service that, that we've had. Yes. I think it's the best service we've had in Epcot, honestly. Out of all the places we've been in Epcot, yeah. we've had the best service here, here in La Cellier. Um, so the servers are great. It's nothing that them, atmosphere's on point. I just think it's gonna be, you know, it's just hard to keep up that quality in this type of atmosphere. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time a video's come out, which is Wednesday. Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. Space is spicy, man. We had spi the, the, the appetizers were spicy. Uh, also, I think one day we got to do our top like five sit-down restaurants at Epcot. Uh, this might be in it just for the atmosphere, and the service was like imp impeccable. But I, I don't think that the food was on par with like a let's say air, or uh, even like a um, Rosen Crown. You know? Yeah. A spice Row table. Spice Row table is very good. Yeah. Uh, but the atmosphere is definitely there, and the desserts were very good.